Hey, this is a bonus episode. The after results, uh, election coverage, whatever you want to call it. We all know what happened. It's freaking Saturday night here. I am drunk. I am walking down Center City. Usually I record these things 90 something percent of the time. I'm in Old City. Well, I'm in Center City tonight. You saw the video blog. I started out in Old City, walked down towards Center City. I'm going to try to remember everything that happened. Uh, and I got my selfie stick in my hand. Looks like I'm carrying the axe. Because I'm about to kill some Biden supporters. Rush! Uh, pretty much what happened was I wasn't sure. I was going to hit up Heenus John and Will Fitz and see, hey, maybe they'll do a podcast tonight. And I decided, you know what? No offense to those two guys. They're cool guys and all. They're going to say they're busy. You know, they're not going to want to hang out, probably. Who knows? Maybe. But I think Heenus John has a new job. Willie Fritz, I don't think he wants to hang out during these times with COVID or in general. No offense, because Will Fitz has done more for me than anybody. I mean, I've hung out with him more than anybody, so he's a great guy. So, I said, fuck it. It was like five-something. I took a shower. I was waiting all day. I know this isn't the old show. And you guys know what I'm talking about. The Tales from the Shit Show. But I was waiting all day to poop. Last night I had pork chops and a uh, a lot of mashed potatoes and gravy. Finally, I took a shit. Around 5 o'clock, I took my shower and I said, fuck it, I'm going down to the city. I got my my phone was charged, my, you know, my, my stream phone. I got, I took the, I waited about 10 minutes for the bus. And then it took, the train was right there. But the train took about 10 minutes to take off. I was really nervous because I saw some joggers on the, uh, uh, the bus. And I was really nervous about that. I mean, the train, I should say. But they didn't do anything. And the time I got down to Old City, it was 5.50. I was going to go to the Old City beer distributor. But there was a line. There was only about seven or eight people in line. Whenever I go into that place, they're always empty. They're always fucking empty. Whenever, whenever I go into that place. But for some reason, there was a line tonight. Because people are celebrating. Why? For some reason. I don't know why they're celebrating tonight. So, I decided to go to the... So, I went to the Wine and Spirits for the first time ever in Old City. Only They usually close at 9, and as you guys know, I get up here late. And I decided to go in there. I bought a Bacardi, uh, I'm sorry, a Grey Goose... And the Grey Goose was, it said 8 bucks, but with tax it was $12. It was very weird. I put my credit card in there. It said denied. She said, yeah, you have to do that. Now swipe it. I was like, all right. So I did that. And all of a sudden, it worked. I got out of there. I went to this Chinese store, the place where on the live stream, the M-word was played. I bought a tropical citrus vitamin water. And... Pretty much, I made the old concoction of the Jacked, except with more. Because Amsterdam vodka, as you guys know, is low-shelf, cheap vodka. But I will say this. It gets me more drunk than Grey Goose vodka. So, people are partying out here. I gotta tell you, it's a good vibe. So, when I was out here, I gotta tell you, within the first 10 minutes, I said, you know what? Even though I'm bummed out, Trump lost, there is a fun vibe out here. There is a fucking fun vibe out here. I gotta tell you. And I like fun vibes. Regardless of what happened. Someone won a championship or a president lost. I do like fun vibes. So I went there. My video blog. I started with my my uh, my concoction. And then I told you guys in the video blog. A car drove by with gay flags. And he started beeping the horn. And everyone went, yeah, everyone was happy. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody was beeping the horn. And then right behind there was a black SUV. Everybody was beeping the horn. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, everybody was like real happy. And everyone was just like so happy. Like, it was like a good vibe. Like you would thought the fucking Eagles won or some shit. Fucking typical liberal douchebag city. I can't wait till taxes get taken. Everybody's checking. They start crying again. Oh, oh my check. 
Joe Biden took taxes out of my check. I can't wait. <laughs> so anyways, I'm walking past all these people yell aloud. <laughs> you should see the visual. Everyone's just so triggered right now. <laughs> no one wants to touch you ugly assholes. You hoes got fucking COVID and syphilis. <laughs> you guys can tell I'm really drunk. So anyway, I left out my trick really quick. And then after that, I went across the street. I tried to do a live stream three times. And for some reason, it didn't work. I went on my YouTube channel. I didn't see the stream there. I named the stream Joe Biden French Kisses His Daughter. Joe Biden French Kisses His Own Daughter. That's what I named the stream. YouTube blocked it, guys. <laughs> Why would they block that? Why? I mean, it's okay to take Trump's mask and cut it off, but you can't say Joe Biden French Kisses His Daughter. <laughs> Oh, oh shit That's based So anyway this guy got pissed to me This white guy he walked away from me These black people in front of me are alive I'm gonna get killed out here I don't even care folks I need to get across here What are you looking at bitch She's staring at me like she got a problem with me Why is she staring like that bro What's the problem? problem? Oh. Alright, I need to get out of here, guys. I'm about to get killed, for real. This, you know, this white guy, when I was saying that about Joe Biden, friend, his daughter, he was looking at me the whole time, and I said, I said, sir, why is he saying that? And the guy, the guy fucking looked at me the whole time, he didn't do anything about it, because he's a pussy. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. So, anyways. <laughs> I'm about to butt fuck this dude. So anyways, now it's a lot of people out here to celebrating. But anyways, so I tried to name the stream that three times. YouTube blocked it. Then I named it Go Live, not there. I guess YouTube maybe. I saw Smooth Sanchez is live. But he has 4,000 subs. So I don't know what happened. But all I know is they blocked it. Then after that... Uh, I was hanging out for a little while. I was drunk. I was just staring at people. I saw, oh yeah, this black girl. She got out. Holy fuck, folks. We're getting to the high capacity. How am I going to cross this street? Oh my god. Wait, I got to film this for the channel. Uh, yeah, all right. He's grinding on that girl's ass. I wish Smooth Sanchez was here. He would put a stop to this. Look at that. Oh my god. I got a selfie stick. I'm the only professional out here. Look at this. Look at that. People are really getting down. And I'm filming it all. I got the best coverage. I got the best. I got long arms. I got a selfie stick. I got the best coverage. Wow. Everyone kept playing fuck Donald Trump tonight. People think I'm for Biden, but they don't realize I'm for Trump. Oh, shit. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. No problem. Excuse me. Well, sorry. Right. Uh, across the street here, folks. I gotta get back to work. Sorry, sir. Shit. It's fucking dangerous. Oh, man. Look at all these people. Look at all these people. Holy shit. I'm doing my sober commentary segment for a Josh Cast bonus episode. Hey. So, anyways. That pretty much just happened. You guys heard it. And that, so then I had to, I was, this black girl was about to get towed. She was about to get a parking ticket, actually. So I said, you better move your car. You're about to pay a expensive ticket. She's like, no, I don't want to pay that. And this black guy was giving me a weird look because I was vlogging for some reason, which I didn't care about. And I got to take a piss again. God damn it. So, well, I had to take my first piss. I was walking back and forth. I saw these young college kids 
They had to be 18 years old, okay? 18 fucking years old. They don't know anything about life. I feel like you have to be at least 27, 28 years old to get some life experience, to kind of know who you are. They're talking about Trump. They're talking about everything. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I don't even know who the fuck you are. Uh, oh, shit. It's getting louder and louder. Oh, my God. I got to get out of here. So, pretty much, I, uh, I, I was walking back and forth looking at someone to piss. I wanted to go inside Stowe's. All right? I wanted to go inside Stowe's to take my first piss. But I was afraid the woman would say something to me. Even though I've been there tons of times. I bought a lot of drinks for that place. So I went into the alley, but these two joggers were there just talking. All right? Oh, my God. This is such a liberal city, folks. Don't ever move to PA. Anybody think about visiting PA? Even if you want to meet me, don't come here. Seriously, don't come here. Don't visit here. It's terrible. Listen to the douchebaggery in the street. All right. So, pretty much... Oh, shit. That guy's knocking people out. Let's film this. Excuse me. Well, your shirt says... I wanted to film that girl right there. She walked away. Fuck. She saw me. Sorry. This guy's trying to knock somebody out. This homeless guy. And this girl's trying to get some fucking cop dick. <laughs> she doesn't want to fund the police because she wants dick. Um, I gotta take a piss. Seriously. But anyways, don't come here, folks. So, I, so anyways, long story short, I took my I took my first piss into an alley. Give me a ski ring, AKA. These black guys are drunk as fuck. They're having fun. This black guy across the street, yo, he's drunk as fuck. He's throwing punches in midair. This guy's base as fuck, bro. He's about to knock somebody out. This is exciting. I mean, I gotta tell you, even though I wish the results were reversed. So, I took my first piss out. These two joggers, like I said, were just sitting there talking. Finally, they went inside their hostel, and I let my dick put out, and pss, I took a big piss. Then I saw, you know, I took my piss. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, let me see if I can film these two girls. Let's see if we can get this live on the... They want black dick so bad. Excuse me. I noticed your shirt says bad things happen in Philadelphia. Ah! Like, ah! like Joe Biden becoming president. Ah! <laughs> I got her. I got her, guys. I got her. I set her up. Now I'm going to run away because she's going to get me killed by some... I mean, some... Uh... Wait, where was this at? I got to edit that out. 13 minutes. Holy shit, I gotta hit that out. <laughs> um, there's some nice cops right here, thank God. <sighs> so, anyways, long story short. Um, fuck Biden! Trump 2020, motherfuckers. They said fuck Biden, right? No, you guys changed it. You guys set me up. No, 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 no. You guys set me up. You guys set me up. I said fuck Biden. I said, I said fuck Biden. I said fuck Biden. No, 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 no. You guys set me up, man. You guys set me up, man. Yo, know, these these fucking uh these fucking ten year old black kids about to knock me out, bro. The good news is. I would have had it all on film. These fucking girls out here are fucking like eight, not even 18 years old. They're fucking drunk. Where are their parents at? I'm surprised parents would let their kids go out here. Like, hey, you're 15 years old. Go get drunk and go just walk around the city. That's not fucking safe. And this city's the fucking worst. Go watch Reddit. Go watch all the videos out there of all the bad shit that happens. Anyways, so... You guys just heard I'm talking to people. I'm mingling. Planet Fitness. They open. I don't have a Planet Fitness card here no more. 
Yeah, so the one kid, you saw, you heard him. He said, fuck Biden. I hate Biden. I said, yeah. And then his friend stopped and said, wait, you said fuck Biden? I thought he was going to do something, but I stopped and just looked at him. I had my, I had my axe in my hand. I would have chopped his head right off. So then I decided to start walking up to Center City. And at first I wasn't vlogging anything. I was just kind of like, all right, I'm just going to fucking walk up. And then these, these girls in the car, they drove by with uh, the Biden signs. And they were like, yeah. So as a goof, I pulled my middle fingers up and they laughed. They didn't care. They want to trigger people. And think about it. If, we, if Trump wouldn't want to think about all the triggered people on the other side. It's the same way. Sorry, I'm talking to my vlog, miss. She's mad. So, I need to go to Taco Bell. I gotta get something to drink. Probably hit by a car. I need to get away from the leftist douchebags. So anyways, I walked up, and so I triggered that. And then I told you in the video blog, these other goofy people that were in a car, this, these two girls were hanging in the back of the picture. I said, I hope you fall off and die. These Asian people turn around like, oh my God, what did you just say? And I laughed. I wish I had that on tape, guys. Then I got drunk. I pulled my phone. I said, I'm going to start triggering people. And unfortunately, I didn't. Okay? I didn't trigger people enough. I wanted to go inside stores and say, hey, did anybody vote for Trump in here? I did. <laughs> but I didn't. I'm fucking wasted right now. I was going to actually buy another shot in a beer. I tried to put my selfie stick away in my... And my phone. Because I really... I really gotta take a piss. I'm gonna buy something in there and use the bathroom. Oh, bathroom's on it? Okay. Alright, so fuck buying something in here. They're not open. I don't blame them for not being open, but I'm not gonna sit there and... buy. I was gonna buy just two tacos. I'm not even hungry. Just to, uh... Just to, uh, just to use their bathroom. So, so anyways, um, I gotta take a piss again. Fuck, this is my third urination of the night. I only had that one concoction, but I told you guys I pissed. So I'm walking up, and after that happened, I took my phone out. Nothing happened. I think I was seeing the vlog, even though this is there and after. I asked this guy for permission. I said, hey, what do you guys think about screen? And I had an interview with the guy. But see, in order to be a successful live streamer, you have to not ask for permission. You got to just say fucking and do it. But I wanted to be respectful, so that's why I asked the guys for, for permission. And he said no, and I walked away. So I should have been, I should have said fuck him, but he was making fun of this homeless guy. There was this guy with diabetes, this big white guy. Usually it's a black guy that was falling over. And he said, look, that's Trump. And I said, that's not funny. That's a homeless guy. And he said, no, I'm just making fun of Trump. And I wanted to interview him about Scranton. Because they said Scranton is what made Trump win PA. But the guy didn't want to talk. He didn't want to be on film. So I respect him. But I should have, if I could have went back, I would have said, fuck him. I would have just kept going. I would have just kept interviewing the guy. And not even worrying about it. So, I got to take a piss really bad. And this may not be the best place right here. I should go to Starbucks. We're going to find an alley or something. I don't have to pee too bad yet. Anyways, so I'm walking up after that. And then I see a ticket inspector, a white lady. And I'm like, hey, let me... Add, and because I'm drunk, this is why I like drinking. I don't like drinking every week. And this is why, Oh, yeah. So something happened before that. There was a black homeless guy on the ground. And these white people... White people are treating black people much nicer now, if you notice. I don't know why. I think it's because of George Floyd. And they were like, uh, are you okay, sir? Are you okay? They were like asking the guy if he was okay. And then as I walked past him, he was pretty much, he said something to me. And I said, uh, did you vote for Biden? He was like, what? He wanted money. And I was like, did you vote for Biden? He was like, I don't know what you're saying. I just walked away. I didn't have that on tape. Then I saw a ticket inspector. And I said, hey, just out of curiosity, where do you guys use the bathroom? I always wondered about that. She said, go to the Warwick Hotel. It's one block over to the left and one block over to the right. She said, that's where we pee. They're really nice. They don't even ask you anything. So I asked, where's the, I asked this nice guy with his bags. Excuse me, sir. Where are you carrying your, I mean, where's the bathroom? I was very nice like that. He's like, oh, it's over there. So pretty much. He, uh, 
So pretty much, he let me use the bathroom. He was very nice. I fucking piss right here. There's a fucking couple right over there. So, all of a sudden, I did that. I'm going to move around here. There's going to be cars coming any minute. I'm going to see my little dick. Just move to the angle. We'll tell you on the phone. Oh, fuck your dick a couple times. Uh, and you just push your dick back up. And you walk like it never happened. There you go, folks. That's how you do it. <laughs> and I was going to hold, use my shoulder to hold the phone. Oh, I almost dropped my phone. I held it. And I got to get my belt in the hole. I got it in. Boom. That's a professional trick right there for you, folks. That was a professional drink here. So I went inside the Warwick Hotel. Really nice hotel. It's, it's one of those monster pisses. As soon as you take your dick out, folks, you piss. You ever had one of those urinations where you're drinking and as soon as you take your dick out and your, your boxes in your pants, it's like, pssst. I mean, it just comes right out like a fountain. I took a monster piss. I stuck a wipe up my ass for good luck. There was a little bit of duty of the booty. And that was... And that was that. I left out of there. Warwick Hotel. Shout out to them. Really nice hotel. I mean, really beautiful. I like it. So then after that, I went to Rittenhouse. I was expecting to see a Trump head on the ground. I did a little vlog in there. You guys saw. Wait, where are we at right now? So this is going to be longer than the 15-minute format. That's fine. And we're at 8th Street right now. We're almost at Old City. We're six blocks away. So then after that, pretty much... Um, we, uh, after that, long story short, I went to Rittenhouse, and then you guys saw when I got to, uh, Broad Street, that's a very busy street in Center City, you guys saw the big crowd of people, the guy was grinding on the girl, I was hoping he would fall off and her and they would get paralyzed, but that's really mean to say, okay, and then when I was walking to Rittenhouse Square, I was doing my vote, this guy saw, he said, woo, and then something else you guys didn't see, this is pretty cool that happened, this guy dropped a case of beer. Luckily, it was cans. It wasn't bottles. He dropped a case of beer. And I was like, no, 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 You dropped the fucking beer, man. And he looked at me like, what the hell? I was just obviously trolling him. So that happened. And then, um. And then you just saw. That was pretty cool. I wish I had that on film. That those black kids. They got so mad, bro. Because one of them said, fuck Biden. I said, yeah, fuck Biden. He just kept walking. The one kid was like, wait, you said fuck Biden? <laughs> and this kid, he was like, almost these bl fucking kids in general. Not all of them. Not all, let's say all black. I see kids, like, I'm 5'11". I'm not tall, okay? I'm not over 6 feet tall. I'm almost 6 foot. Not quite. I'm 2 inches taller than the height of the average guy. This kid was like maybe two inches shorter than me, but I don't know. I have weight on him. I could have killed him like Zimmerman. Oh, edit that out. And, and uh, he just kept walking. I said, no, no, you guys set me up. You guys set me up. I wish I had that on film. That was awesome. So anyways, we're almost at the old city now. I just took another monster piss in the alley, as you guys heard. I mean, actually, I, t I took a piss right on the lottery newsstand. I feel bad for the people. Like, let, let me put my mask on. Because I'm passing by people that are eating and drinking. She does that This guy said he voted for Trump. We all voted for Trump, buddy. More people than you think. Think about it. He only won by 2%. We all got it for him, you fucking idiot. We all got it for him. Oh, there she goes. There's another fucking Biden supporter there for you. People are looking at me when I'm talking. This is so fucking great. It's so funny how, how Biden won. Yeah, people are still fucking triggered. I fucking love it, man. Um, I'm fired up right now. I'm sorry, guys. Can you imagine if I had another shot in a beer? I would have got Polly punched in the face tonight, <laughs> which is great content. Shout out to Smooth Sanchez. Guy's a fucking animal. He's only 18 years old. He just turned 18. Went out to New York City. Went inside Central Park, one of those douchebag cities. He pretty much just trolled everybody. Almost got beat up. Didn't want to pepper spray anybody. Ended his stream. He's still streaming right now. I try to go live. I don't want to be as vulgar as Smooth Sanchez, but shout out to Smooth Sanchez. <laughs> Smooth Sanchez is a fucking animal. I just hope he doesn't end up in prison or, or dead because 
we all know how it is. Uh, but yeah, I think Wawa's still open. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Uh, are you still coming down here tonight? Nah, I'm getting ready to go home. I'm going to Old City and I'm going home, man. I, I've i been out for two hours. I'm tired. Uh, yeah, they're still open, actually. These cops are going inside. I'm not hungry. I got food at home. I got snacks at home. Um... Right, cross over this side. Yeah, as you guys know, lots of ass out here. That's not out of the usual. It's nice, uh, thick jones. You guys remember we used to talk about the thick jones? Uh, as we used to talk about. We're almost at Old City. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. I'm gonna head home. Um, I got four, three seconds to cross this light. And we made it. Yeah, I'm really glad it came out tonight because the whole time... You know what? This is how you can tell what an idiot I am. I have a job right now. It's a full-time job. And I was thinking about it earlier, and I started getting depressed. And if you guys listen to these segments, you'll realize that I get depressed sometimes. When I, have a, when I don't have a job, I get depressed. I feel like a loser because I'm not working. And then when I do have a job, I think about going back to work on my... Like Saturday night, you're not supposed to think about work at all. You're supposed to just think about going out, having a good time... It's Saturday night, and I was thinking about work already on Monday. That's how you know you hate your job. When you think about it on a Saturday, and you're like, fuck, I gotta go back. Like, you're supposed to not think about it at all until Sunday night, maybe. I'm already thinking about it mid in the day, and I'm already like, fuck, fuck, I don't want to go back to work. I hate my job. It's just a temp job. Fire me already. I want to quit. But I am proud of myself. Not that I did anything brave tonight, that I went out. I got some coverage. I had a good time. I triggered some people. Some people actually think I was for Biden tonight. And I didn't tell them that I wasn't for Biden. Because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It's over. Trump lost. I voted for the guy. I wanted to say this before, but I forgot. Look. I wanted Trump to win. I voted for him. I'm not going to cry. You guys know I'm a good spirit. I want to have fun. Okay? I want to have fucking fun. I want to live my life. I'm not going to sit there and cry. Like some, I saw this homeless guy. He was obviously for Trump. He threw a beer bottle at somebody. I, I mean, not like somebody, like a wall. He threw it at a wall. That's how angry he was that they didn't win. And it's like, dude, look, this is not worth going to, it's not worth um, going to jail over. You know what I mean? You're going to sit there and do some shit like that. Like, just fucking have fun. They got, your guy didn't win. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Why are you going to do that shit? You know what I mean? So, I'm glad. The guy didn't win. All I'm going to say is that I was check, I was watching someone's live stream on uh, Tuesday night after work. And Trump was ahead by two points only. Not 2%, two points. Then I fell asleep. I woke up a few hours later. He was down like 20 points. Then 40 points. The time I went to bed. The next day, it kept going down and down. And it came down to my dirty city, folks, in PA. It came down to my dirty city in fucking PA. How erotic is that? PA in Georgia. So, I told you guys before, it's a shit fucking city. It's just, don't ever visit here. Don't ever come here. You get killed. It's terrible. Even if you want to hang out with me, I'm not worth hanging out with. Don't come down here. Seriously. But people are hanging out. People are having fun. And I like to see that. Regardless of who won. Now, imagine if Trump won. Would these people still be party? That's the question I have. Now, I wanted to ask people, hey, if Trump would have won, would you still be out here? Would you still party? Half these people would be at home crying right now, which would be perfect. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. But can you imagine if Trump wins the Supreme Court thing? And things get reversed. <laughs> Imagine all these people being butted like, dude, we went out, we partied, fuck, man. So, look, I'm almost in, I'm in Old City right now. I'm passing by this indoor diner. People are mostly dates, mostly couples, group couples. All these simps out here trying to get that pussy. They're hoping to get that pussy. But you gotta take these girls out to dinner and get their pussy. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, so that's that. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm tired as fuck. My legs are shot. I walked to Old City and back. Center City and back. It's about a half an hour walk each way. It's over an hour walk. Plus today, this morning, I did errands. I went to the park. Then I went to uh, Target. Then from Target, I went to get something to eat. I'm tired. I've been running around all day. Tomorrow, I'm doing nothing. Uh, before we go back to the fucking work week, man. Uh, but nonetheless, I don't have anything else to say. I'm trying to remember if anything else happens. I could pass by the National Mechanics and see if the Asian bouncer is there. But he says the same shit all the time. Hey, man, go get some pussy. It's like, look at me. I'm fucking... Even if I lost weight. So, I'm heading back to Old City right now. I was thinking about doing podcasts tonight with Heenus, John, and Will Fitz. But you know what? Listen, I'll end of the day. I'm a loner. I hang up by myself. It's about 7.55 p.m. I'm going to sit down and rest myself and I'm going to head home. I took three monster pisses. I got that alcohol in my system for the most part. It was a beautiful day today. Fortunately, my president didn't win. But listen, there's got to be other people out here who feel the same way. But think about it. You're not going to sit here and admit it. You're not going to sit here and admit it that, hey, I'm a Trump supporter. Because you got to be only a blind person can do that. And probably get away with it. So I'm passing by the National right now. now let's see. I don't see any bouncers in there. There's got to be at least one in there. But it's okay. Because the Asian bouncer just makes fun of me. He always says the same thing over and over. He actually thinks that I'm like him. I'm on a six foot four chat, uh, whatever, mixed guy. So everyone's talking about politics tonight. I didn't want to do it. I'm back in Old City. I'm fucking tired. I'm going to rest myself and go home. You guys hear the motorcycles on one Market Street now. I tried to live stream, it failed. Fuck Verizon. I don't think I'll ever live stream again. Fuck it. I might get a slice of pizza. I already ate when I went home. I already had a turkey sandwich. I had a hoagie earlier. Uh, I need to sit down somewhere. I'm tired. I have water in my bag. I got my selfie stick in my bag. And, uh... Yeah, man. There's just so many young people out here. And they don't know shit about anything. They should change the rule of voting to, like, 25. Because you don't even know yourself until... These people are still out here drinking. There was this... Yeah, this... But it's so funny how all these white people out here pretending to be nicer to black people when all their friends are still white. <laughs> all your friends are still white, bro. It's so funny. Based. Um, it's a lot of ass out here. I'm pretty sure I can go home with something. Psych! I'll let these stupid white couple go by. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking inside this one bar. There's only three people in there. Outdoor bar. You got about 10 people, 11 people out here. Hell yeah. Black guy's drunk mom himself. Pizza place is pretty crowded. I am tired as fuck, guys. I'm going to sit down right here. I didn't buy a drink. Someone said something. I was get up. That's it. All right, so I think that's the end. If anything else happens, I'll end more coverage. But that's it for the segment. And uh, that's the show with a bonus episode. I hope you guys liked it. Some people have been complaining the show's too short. Just did an extra fucking 20 minutes for you cocksuckers. And I guarantee I still won't get more likes or comments. So fuck you. All right, that's it for now. I'll see ya. All right, hey, guys. I just got off the bus near my house. It's only a block walk. I want to say I successfully made it home because who knows? I can still get killed. It's not over yet. But what I want to say is two things happened that I forgot to mention. Oh, my God. You're so fucking stupid. You must have voted for Biden. You didn't let me go, you fucking... Uh, two things that happened was, one, there was a party bus with these girls on there. And even the, I, I might not put in the video blog. I'm not sure yet. because I couldn't zoom in. But they were just dancing. It was like these white girls. I couldn't tell from far away. They all looked attractive, but I couldn't tell. And they saw me filming. One of them waved to me. I probably won't put that in the vlog because... 
I couldn't zoom in. And then the second thing that happened was one girl said, bad things happen in Philadelphia. So, as you saw in the vlog, I try. I, I, I first I was going to approach them, but they walked away. And then finally I caught up to them. They were taking a selfie. And I said, hey, miss, uh, your shirt says all bad things happen in Philadelphia, right? And she said, yeah. And I said, is that why, is that why Joe Biden is president? And she said, no. And she got pissed. And I went, ha, ha, ha. But I think I was recording. Yeah, I was recording. So you hear it in the... Actually, the same episode. I'm drunk right now still. Well, anyway, it's 8.52. I could have stayed out longer. I was going to get a slice of pizza. I was going to get um, a small slice of buffalo from Big Ass Lake. But before I left the house, I already had a turkey sandwich with chips and pickles. And I had a Wawa hoagie for lunch. So my stomach is full of fat turkey and salami and ham and all that stuff. Probably gonna go home and snack on some stuff because I'm still fat. And that's it, folks. Thank you for listening to this. If you really like this episode, you might want to give it a like because this might be the, the weather's gonna change soon. It's nice today. It's gonna get very cold soon, and I won't be doing these for a long time. So you might want to give this a like. If you don't, go fuck yourself, Cuffy. I'll see ya. I'm out of here. Josh Cass, political after party coverage, whatever you want to call it. We're done. Congratulations. You just sat through the most awful podcast you can sit through. Josh Cast.